Hey there, YouTube. This is Apple Stuffs, and we're going to go over how to download iTunes from Apple.com. Very simple, very easy. This is how you do it. So first, we're going to open up Safari or your general browser. You can do, use Internet Explorer, Firefox, Opera. I use Safari because I have a Mac. Yes. So we're going to open up Safari and go to Apple.com, www.apple.com, Apple.com, search Apple and Google any way that you can get to Apple.com up here. Look at the top bar, see there's an Apple, then it says Store, Mac, iPod, iPhone, iPad, iTunes, Support. What you're going to want to click on is iTunes, right there. I can't really point to it, but that's what I'm talking about. So you click on iTunes, and you know, whatever will come up now, they're having the Beatles promotion in a few months, I'm sure they'll have something else out. Um, this is what it should look like, though. It should it should have uh, at the top on this little tab bar thing. It should say iTunes. What's new? What is iTunes? What's on iTunes? iTunes charts. How to blah blah blah. Basically, the how to tutorial is this. This is what I'm teaching you. Okay, so we're going to click on download iTunes because that's what we're doing, and it will show different versions of iTunes up here in this corner. If you would like to receive emails from Apple, uh, they don't really say that much. It's about Father's Day or Mother's Day or um, perfect Christmas gifts. It's just them advertising their products. I'm sure that you could hear it on the news or anywhere. I personally uncheck everything. Um, and then you type in your email address. I will be using applestuffs at gmail.com. And then you hit download now. Now I already have this installed, it's gonna look a little bit different, but your downloads window should open. Uh, if you're using Windows you can hit either run or save and save it to your desktop or your downloads folder or whatever and I will come back to you once that's done. It says mounting the disk, it mounted the disk, so done with the downloads window so you can clear that. It's not necessary to have. If you're on a PC all you had to hit was run and and or save and if you saved it you double click on the icon if you hit run something like this should show up except it's different for PC it would just be installation instructions okay so here we are what you would do is very simply double click the install iTunes button um, something will come up on PC it'll look a little bit different it'll be uh, explaining what's what iTunes is you hit continue and then it'll say what's new in your certain version of iTunes and other important information about copyright information and stuff like that um, I personally don't need to read all of this because I already know it but I would take the time to read through this because some of the stuff is very important to understand so then you hit continue and this is a major software license agreement blah 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 uh, not blah 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 you need to read this uh, yeah, and you hit continue. Um, you must agree with the terms, and of course on a PC you would just say agree, it wouldn't have a continue button, but anyways you just need to agree to the terms. So you hit agree, and it says this will take up 183 megabytes of space in your computer. Totally fine by me. I already have it installed, I'm going to hit install. Oh, yes, for Mac users you are going to have to import, uh, uh, put in your um, system password. Um, you hit OK and let it do its work. Oh, looks like I can't cancel this. Well, that's not good. I'll come back to you once it's done. Okay, and we're back. It says install succeeded. That means that everything was successfully installed. Is it going to open on its own? No, it's not. Okay, so once you're done with this uh, window over here, you won't need it anymore. For Windows user, that will window, Windows users that will probably disappear. You're done with your Safari, Opera, Internet Explorer, Firefox window, so you can X out of that too. Um, and now we're going to open up in our Applications folder iTunes. Where is it? Wait, there it is. So for Windows users, you're going to go to Start, um, Start in the bottom left corner or that Windows Vista looking button. You're going to click on that and you're going to drag across the Programs button 
and you're going to look for Apple or iTunes or something that looks like iTunes and has that symbol down here. See this bopping symbol? That's what you're looking for. And so since I'm on a Mac, this is open. And uh, when you first install iTunes, something uh, so a message will pop up um, about preferences or something. You can just hit continue. You don't need to necessarily install or install extra features or whatever. Um, so yeah, that is how you install iTunes on a Mac or a PC. Um, very simple, very easy. Anyone can do it. And my next videos will be about uh, all these features over here because to someone that is completely new with computers, this could look very, very confusing. Oh, Nicki Minaj. Okay. Well, thank you very much for listening to this uh, Apple Stuffs tutorial. There will be many more to come. This is actually my first. And comment below. Let me know if you like it. Um, and don't let me know if you don't like it. This should work for everyone. I really hope that it does. And have a great day.